little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and do not know where to find them. If she started with three sheep and the three sheep ran away, how many sheep is she left with? Now, we will find out this through subtraction. But before starting subtraction, I am going to tell you some facts about subtraction. The greater number is called the minuend. The number to be subtracted, that is the smaller number, which is to be subtracted is the subtrahend. So, how could we know? Suppose we have the number 655 and 423. We have two numbers here. This is the greater number and this is the smaller number. So, the greater number is the minuend. The smaller number or the number which is written below and is to be subtracted is the subtrahend. The result after subtraction is known as the difference. When we subtract it, 5 minus 3 is 2, 5 minus 2 is 3. 6 minus 4 is 2. So, this result or the answer of subtraction is known as the difference. The sign which we use for subtraction is this and it is read as minus. The order of number in subtraction cannot be changed. The greater number is placed first. For example, if we have the number 985 minus 564, we have placed the greater number first and then the smaller number. So, this is correct. If we write the smaller number first and then the greater number, this is wrong. In addition, we can change the order. No matter which number is placed first, the answer is always the same. Reverse to it in subtraction. We cannot change the order of the numbers here. We have some more facts about subtraction. We observe the following while subtracting. When 0 is subtracted from any number, the result is the number itself. For example, if we subtract 0 from 6, the answer is 6, that is the number itself. If we subtract 0 from 75, the answer is 75. That is the number itself. And if we subtract 0 from 345, the answer is the number itself. The second point is when a number is subtracted from itself, the result is equal to 0. If we subtract 7 from 7, that is 7 minus 7 is 0. 45 minus 45 is 0. 263 minus 263 is 0. So if we are subtracting the number from itself, the answer is 0. The third point says when 1 is subtracted from any number, the result is the predecessor of that number. Predecessor is one number before. If we subtract 1 from 5, the answer is 4 and 4 is the predecessor of 5. If we subtract 1 from 33, the answer is 32 that is the predecessor of 33. If we subtract 1 from 231, the answer is 230, that is the predecessor of 231. You should also remember that 110 is equal to 10 ones, 100 is equal to 10 tens and 1000 is equal to 10 hundreds. Today, we are going to practice subtraction of three-digit numbers. Suppose we have to subtract 564 from 985. First, we are going to arrange these numbers in columns, one below the other. If we have the column hundreds, tens and ones. Here we have 985. 985. 
Now, I will show you how we take away the numbers hundreds, tens and ones. We have 900. So we are going to draw 9 squares here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. We have 8 tens. That is 80. So we are going to draw 8 lines here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Then we have 5 ones. So 5 circles I am going to draw here. 3, 4 and 5. As we did an addition, we will start subtraction from the rightmost side that is the ones place. We have five ones here and we have to take away four ones from these five ones. One, two, three, four. How many are left? One is left here. So we will we have eight tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have to take away six tens from these. One, two, three, four, five, and six. How many are remaining? Two are remaining here. So we are going to write two here. We have to take away five hundreds from nine hundreds. So we are going to take away one, two, three, Four and five. Now how many are remaining? One, two, three and four. Four hundreds are remaining. So if we take away 564 from 985, we get the answer 421. I told you the greater number is the minuend. The smaller number is the subtrahend. And the answer is the difference in subtraction. And this is the minus sign. Isn't it easy to subtract? Mm. Now we will practice subtraction with regrouping. Regrouping is when we convert one group to other or we borrow from something. Suppose we have to subtract 249 from 573. Again, we are going to draw 5 squares for 500 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. In the hundreds column, we have drawn 5 squares. Then 7 tens we have. Then we are going to draw 7 lines here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 3 ones. So 3 circles in place of 3 ones. Now we have to take away this 249 from 573. 573. We have three ones here and we have to take away nine ones but this is not possible. So what we have to do? We have to borrow from here. Now this is not one tens. This is changed to ten ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Now we will take away 9 ones from 13 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. The remaining ones are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we will write 4 here. Now we will take away 4 tens 
from six tens one two three and four the remaining are two tens here from hundreds here we from five hundreds we will take away two hundreds the remaining are three hundreds here so when we subtract two hundred forty nine from five hundred seventy three the difference is three hundred twenty four next we are going to subtract one hundred seventy eight from three hundred forty three again in the hundreds column we are going to draw three squares one two and three four lines in the ten column here one two three and four and three circles for three ones in the ones column now we have to take away 178 from 343 in the ones column we have three circles and we have to take away eight but i can't do that because three is less than eight so what we have to do is we have to regroup 110 we have to borrow from here and 110 is equal to 10 ones so we are going to get 10 circles here and 10 now instead of three ones we have 13 ones here so i'm going to cross out this three and write 13 here and Take away 8 ones from 13 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now the remaining ones are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we will write 5 here. Now we don't have 4 tens here. We have 3 tens. So I cut 4 and write 3 over here. Now I have to take away 7 from 3. But again I can't do that. So what I have to do is borrow 100 here. And I know that 100 is equal to 10 tens. So I am going to get 10 lines here. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now instead of 3 tens we have 13 tens. So again, I will cut this and write 13 here. Now I have to take away 7 from 13 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the remaining are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So I will write 6 here. Now I don't have 3 hundreds here. I have two hundreds now from two hundred i have to take away one hundred so remaining is one here so when i take away 178 from 343 the answer is 165 now i did the regrouping two times here first i regrouped one tens to ten ones here here I regrouped 110 to 10 once and the second time I regrouped 100 to 10 tens. So we did regrouping two times over here. More on the top, no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. Numbers the same, zeros the game. Now I have got a few sums for you to practice. Do them and practice many other sums till you make yourself perfect. Goodbye.